Hi there, welcome to Mobile World Congress in Barcelona. My name is Mike Lawton with Keysight Technologies and I'm here today to talk about a demo we're doing for RedCap technology. RedCap is a new technology for 5G. It's come out in the Release 17 specifications and it stands for Reduced Capability. Um, and what it's enabling is a definition for a lower performance level of 5G device, which is meant to enable lower costs and hence a much bigger market for the overall 5G devices. You won't see it yet in the show, it's new, but we're here able to demonstrate it because we can simulate both the UE and the base station. So today I want to take you through four key uh, offerings that we have to enable REDCap testing. The first, as I mentioned, was the UE itself. So this is our REDCap UE. The commercial ones will obviously be a lot smaller, but this enables us to get to market and be able to test REDCap technology before it's actually in the marketplace. So with this, we create the full signaling capability of a UE, and we can use that to test with our GNODE-B. In a year's time, perhaps we'll be back at the show and you'll see a real device here. And when that happens, what this will be used for is to emulate a thousand devices and then to test a real GNOBE network. So ultimately, this will be testing real GNOBEs and emulating many devices. But today, we're using it at the very beginning of the market to demonstrate the capabilities that aren't yet available commercially. So this is the UE simulator. We also have this product here, the UXM. This is a GenoB emulator, and what this does is create a GenoB cell that you can have in the lab for testing your UEs. So as far as the UE is concerned, this is a fully functional cell, 5G cell, defined around a REDCap reduced capability configuration. So these two can talk together, the, the UE can join the cell, and then I can make measurements and exercise throughput. So if I look here, I have a graph here where I'm showing throughput. I can change the allocation that's been given by the base station. And you'll see the throughput drops. And then I can change it back. And the throughput will return to the high level. So that's the first of the four, first two of the four products I want to talk about: the UE simulator and the UE emulator, sorry, and the Geno B, which is emulate and the Geno B emulator as well. The next thing I want to talk about, we haven't actually got it here on the stand, but we have a product called the Wave Judge Analyzer. And if you're working in the early market, like we are here, sometimes your UE or your base station they may not be talking together. They may not be able to connect. The way you can overcome and troubleshoot those issues is with the Wave Judge Analyzer. You can analyze all of the downlink messages coming from the base station, all of the uplink messages coming from the UE, and then you can troubleshoot which message got lost where, and even drill down to RF measurements on specific messages to find out maybe if there was a signal quality issue that prevented the connection from working. So whilst you're troubleshooting, the Wave Judge Analyzer is very important. And then the fourth thing I want to mention is I've been talking about reduced capability 5G and how that opens up new devices. Well, these new devices are going to be lower cost devices, perhaps have smaller markets and, and in terms of their overall usage. Maybe think of a, a wireless doorbell, for example. In these cases, these devices do represent a little bit of a threat from the network perspective in terms of whether they're actually secure. Um, if you look at typical phones today, they have an awful lot of investment in making sure they're very secure devices. So how do we test to ensure these lower cost devices that are coming onto the network as an explosion of many new devices don't create cybersecurity threats? So the way we have overcome that is we have some software here that allows you to define and create a whole raft of cybersecurity tests that relate to vulnerabilities that have been published by folks that have been uh, finding vulnerabilities in products in the past. So we have the ability to select from all of these different vulnerabilities. You can see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, IP, many different technologies. And then we can run that suite of vulnerability tests and achieve a kind of baseline level of assurance that the product that's going to go on the network is reasonably secure from a cybersecurity perspective. 
Um, so we do that and we also attack it with protocol messages to check for cyber security by sending incorrect messages and so on from, through different technologies. So cyber security testing and then UE emulation and base station emulation for this new 5G technology called REDCap.